Hi, my name is Jim Anderson. I'm with the Harkin Tech team, and today we're going to answer some questions about ratchet blocks. Here at Harkin, we manage line under load. We try to reduce friction wherever we can with our ball bearing efficient blocks. With a ratchet block, we're trying to introduce friction back into the system at the holding point so that line under load can be held in one's hand for an extended period of time. And we do that with the ratchet block and we have anywhere between 10 to 1 to 15 to 1 holding power depending on the diameter of the block. We do that with two types of ratchet blocks and we get the question quite often um, why I would need a switchable ratchet versus an automatic or what we call a ratchet block where the switching from ratchet to free spinning block is automatic based on the line load uh, running through the block. One way to think of, of the two types of blocks is a switchable ratchet is designed so that you switch it on and off for the user who is trying to hold on to uh, a higher load. So for instance, uh, two people, different strengths, sailing the same boat, one may be able to hold the line in the free running mode, but the, the other person might need some assistance and therefore they might want to switch the ratchet on or off. With a ratchet or an automatic switching ratchet block, it is preset to a line load that engages the ratchet mechanism. That is used in a system where the line load is typically, for holding, always going to be more than someone would want to hold for an extended period of time. But when it comes to releasing the line, you want the line to run very freely. With the switchable ratchet, when the ratchet is on, releasing the line will drag, as intended, with friction over the ratchet shiv. So a spinnaker sheet, an asymmetric spinnaker sheet on a smaller keel boat where someone is holding the line, trimming by hand, but then wants to release that line and let that spinnaker sheet run freely is a perfect place for a ratchet block. The automatic ratchet also is very convenient in a boat that has a trapeze or racks such as some of the skiffs or multi-hulls that have a main sheet system that has a ratchet in it. It's very difficult to get in off the wire or off the rack, inboard, switch the ratchet off in order to ease out. That's a good place for an automatic ratchet. Harkin has been producing ratchet blocks since the early days of the company. The switchable ratchet and the ratchetmatic are both available with a shackle attachment. The ratchetmatic is also available in the T2 style block, which is a soft attachment lashing block. Once again, my name is Jim Anderson here with the Harkin Tech team. Thank you for joining us. I hope you learned something about ratchet blocks. And if you have any additional questions, please give us a call. That's what we're here for.